Another one back on out the back. Got it. A little lower in that right height. So we'll see how that goes through here versus the bomber yesterday. I can slow down that rebound up the front. For sure. But yeah, night and day down there versus the bomber. For sure. That's much more compliant at speed. So we're at nine bar now. Got this done this morning. Down from ten. The same compression set up out the back for now. Hey guys, thank you. Oh, sorry mate. Go for it. Yeah. See how this fork feels with a dash slower rebound, two clicks lighter on the low speed compression. After that, just fell slow until that. Nice one. Feels pretty decent. There's still holes there, for sure. But that felt pretty good. It's efficient ish. Yeah, it's efficient for sure. You can see I cleared that the road gap in the middle. It's just still kind of chirping around a little bit out the back, that's all. I've been able to go another quarter turn of preload too out of the back there which gives me a little bit more off the top which is good Yeah, way more control Oh Jesus Got a bit excited then
Uh, let's see how it feels down twisted, the old local. This whole run will be on Strava too, top to bottom, or bottom to top and back down. Choppy on the hill here after watching on this triple. Manual through. Oh, I missed the gear. Oh. Off line then. That's killer. So that's quite good out of the back at at nine bar. So ten bar, three three clicks was a fairly heavy on the compression, and I had to run it pretty much no preload whatsoever, like under a quarter turn for it to be compliant. Quarter turn started to get choppy. Now go on that nine bar. I'm able to go a half turn of preload, so I'll probably just over a quarter, not quite a half turn, and four clicks of low speed compression to get that. It's nice off the back of things, it's got, got a bit of pump. The fork I went, one click, I've gone full open on the high speed because I went a little bit firm today, same as what I did the other day, but just trying to find the upper limit of this fork. But that was good, the only reason I was steering wide in corners is because of the, um, a little bit less compression at the front, so a little bit less compression makes the fork a little bit less precise. A little bit too much makes it choppy, depending on relative to your spring rate. So you can't have like just all spring rate and no compression because it'll just float around at the front. You can't have all compression, no spring rate because it'll be just harsh and dead. But yeah, I'm into it. I think I've found an acceptable spot for this shock for sure i know i've been back and forth and my opinions have been up and down but that's that's just the process of testing things and learning things and recency bias i guess like whatever you're on i don't know yeah but anyway she good
yeah. That low back end just allows me to really steer the back around those dropping turns and keep the front where I want it. Killer. But yeah, a little bit softer on the fork, so a little bit more sag with a little bit, with that one click of extra high speed compression would be perfect. Like back to where I've always had it with this look cap. <laughs> 